hi everyone welcome back to my youtube channel so today we are going to see how we can find out the test cases which are not linked to our user stories or the pbis right the uh, product backlogs basically now to i mean if you see here i have a test plan which is for iteration 2 okay and uh, the total number of test cases if you see here we have 18 okay so as in we have 18 test cases and these are all my user stories so corresponding to each user story you can see like i have few number of test cases correct now let's take a look like how many test cases i have as in total for this project okay so what i'll do i'll find the number of test cases which i have okay okay i'll show you like how to write the queries and everything so click on go to boards click on queries click on new query and to find out the number of test cases you have in your project simply you can write work item type as test cases and state equal to any okay let's try it So if you see here, we <clears throat> we have 23 test cases as in total, right? Out of which we can see in our test plan for the corresponding user stories, like from for like three, three, six, and two, eight, eight user stories, we have 18 number of test cases. Okay, so there is a difference of five test cases, right? Which are not linked to our user stories or the product backlog item. Okay. But ideally for the traceability, these items should be linked. So how to find out those test cases which are not linked to any of the product backlog or user story, right? This is the problem. Now, we have 23, the, the, as in, I mean, if you want to do a laboristic job, obviously we can go and each and everything and we can verify like how, what all test cases we have. And we can find out but let's suppose if you have 100 or maybe 150 or 200 or 500 test cases then it won't be it won't help you right now to find out the orphan test cases or the test cases which are not linked to the user stories or the product backlog what you can do you can create one more query okay so let's suppose you wanted to find out the test cases okay so work item type will be test cases now the test cases which are not linked to product backlog or user story depending on the type of project you are working okay now to do this what we have first of all we have to change this type of query okay flat list of work item instead of flat list you can select work item and their direct links okay it means it will find out the work items as well as their direct links like if that particular work item in our case it is test case right so in this test case this test case work item is it linked to something or else or not okay now as as soon as i clicked on it now it's giving me an option to filter for the linked work item okay so this this particular work item how it is linked to other other, other particular work item okay now since I'm working on, on a product backlogs here, okay, I'll put work item ties as product backlog. Now, if you see here, the condition filter option, only written items that have matching link. It means if I run this uh, query, it will give me the, the, uh, the number of test cases which are directly linked to other product backlogs. It means the test cases which have the linking part, okay, or which are which are properly mapped to the product backlogs. So if I run this, you will see we have 36 items. Okay. As in eight linked and eight top links. Okay. It means for eight of the test cases, if you see test cases, we have the product backlogs. Okay. You are seeing for each and every test case because uh, I wrote this query in the reverse order. Ideally, I should do it like in this way, product backlog and then test cases. Okay. So if I run this, it will give you product backlog and then the number of test cases which are associated to this product backlog. So if you see here, we have eight user stories and we have 18 linked 
items to it okay so eight user stories eight top level means the product backlog and the 18 linked items means the test cases okay even if you see here if i'll go to iteration and i'll go to chart you will see we have 18 test cases and the number of product backlogs we have one two three four five six seven eight right now we have to find those five extra test cases or six extra test cases okay so you have to change this filter option only return items that have matched link instead of this you have to do you have to select only return items that do not have matching links as soon as you click on this and you will hit on run button okay uh, okay it will give you the product backlogs item so what you can do you have to change in that case basically you have to find out the text cases which are not linked to the product backlog I just changed my query if you see here okay I am finding out the work items which do not have the product backlog item linked okay so these are the five test cases which are linked which are not linked to any product backlog and if you open this you will see there is no linking part right correct so this is how you can find out the test cases which are not linked to any of the user stories okay i hope this video will help you thank you thanks a lot